Hi guys! So, I haven't filmed in a long, 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 long time. Um, there's just been a lot going on in my personal life and things got crazy and I really don't know if I'm ready to start filming again, but I miss it. So, I figured, why not? Um, I hope you guys can understand that stuff happens and I don't really want to go into it, but... Anyways, I am back, hopefully, for good, hopefully, that would be nice. Um, anyways, I am going to do my October favorites, right, it's October, yeah, it's October. I'm going to do my October favorites for you guys, and I actually have quite a bit of things this month that I've been obsessed with, I don't even think I grabbed them all. Oh, well. I have a lot of stuff to go through, so let's just get into this. So first thing I want to talk about is my new primer that I've been obsessed with, which is um, The Present by Philosophy, and it is so dirty. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, it's really dirty. Um, it's for, it's called the Clear Makeup for Fine Lines, Wrinkles, and Uneven Textures, because I'm so old and stuff, I have wrinkles. Um, but in all seriousness, I love it. It's an awesome primer. It's like a glue. I actually got this idea to use this as a primer from um, Gross Makeup, Gross Makeup, whatever his name is, the awesome dude that's on YouTube. Um, he uses this, and I use probably like a quarter size amount, and I work it into all the areas of my skin. And it is kind of like a glue, so you kind of want to let it dry for a couple minutes. And then just carry on using your foundation or whatever you want to use. But it's awesome. I feel like my makeup lasts like hours and hours longer than usual. And it looks so much better. So that's the first thing. And then kind of like late on the bandwagon, but Fix Plus. It just kind of goes with the primer. It's awesome for starting and finishing your makeup. And I've been loving this. I don't know why I didn't know about this until this month. Anyways. So those would be my first things that I've been loving. And the next thing is from the Bath & Body Summer Collection. It's the Coconut Lime Breeze. But why I love this, it's the supercharged body scrub. Not only does it smell amazing, but okay, you guys have to see this. It is like the most lime green product ever. I don't know if the camera's going to show just how like lime green this stuff is. It just looks so cool. I just, it's fun. And it smells so good. So obviously you can't get this stuff now, but I just, I buy my Bath and Body Work in bulk. If you guys have watched my hauls, you know that. Um, so I just got to this stuff and I love the body scrubs. I've never tried one before, so I'm definitely going to try to grab another one when this one runs out, but this one is just awesome. If you can get on the website, I would recommend this one because it's lime green and it smells fantastic. Okay, now I need to wash my hands. Okay, next thing I want to talk about itchy nose. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is my favorite nail polish of the month which is a Nicole by OPI from the um, Kardashian collection and this is Hard Court Fashionista. Um, I don't know if this is going to show. It's um, like a really, really dark red burgundy wine color. If you put like two or three coats on this, it almost looks black but not black. It is fantastic. I love this. And it's good quality. It lasted me a long time, which most nail polishes don't last with my work and stuff. So, and then on top of that, I've been using hair. I've been using the um, Juliet Maven Quick Dry Polish Drops, and these is like the best thing ever. I have the Opa I have like spray version. Sucks compared to this. Sucks, and I like that. And so this just is beyond amazing. You put um one or two drops and it comes in like a little like medicine vial thingy and um you put one or two drops on your nails and it dries instantly like instant instant instantly and it smells 
really good too. I like the smell of it. Who knows? It works and I love it. So you need to try this. If you wear nail polishes and you're like me and you can't wait for it to dry, best friend. Next thing is my Bath and Body Works Fall Candle in Mahogany Teakwood. And it just looks like this. I think it has a gold lid. I don't know what it is though. It smells like there's a sexy man living in your house. That is what this smells like. It smells like like an Abercrombie and Fitch store cologne, just oh, but it's not overpowering. It's not making it doesn't give you a headache. It just smells like pure awesomeness. I love, 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 love this. Bath and Body Works Fall Candles this year killed it. Best. Oh, I need another one of this because I've been burning this for like not even a full day, and it's already like that. But it's awesome. Actually, yeah, this is like my second one. Um, next thing I want to talk about, where am I, is laid on the boundary again, it's the NYX, um, 10 color shadow from the Runaway Collection in Caviar and Bubbles, and I got this in a recent haul from Hot Look, and I love it. I will show you what it looks like. It's all, like, neutral colors, I was gonna say matte, there is a good quality, a <laughs> good quality. There's a good quality of mats in this. Um, no, there's a fair number of mats. I think there's one, two, three. Does that have shimmer in it? Four, five, maybe. So half the palette is matte, and I have been loving this one, this one, and this one. Just outrageous. Just bold colors. But I've honestly been loving this. It is like awesome. The pigmentation is great. The quality is great. It doesn't like fall down my face. Fall out. Is that the word? Yeah, it doesn't trickle down my face. Love it. Um, whole look for like 25 cents. I don't know. It was a bargain. Um, next thing is my Maybelline New York. This is so dirty too. My Fit Me Makeup. And this is in 15 Fair, and I love this. I like do the, but you really can't tell because I'm so flipping pale. My whole face looks like it's pale. That's not what I meant. I do that. It doesn't. It's not that much lighter than my other foundation, but you know, it works great. And if anyone's tried the Fit Me 15, let me know if you've ever compared it to the Fit Me 10 because I stood in the Walmart the Walmart and I had the 15 and the 10 and the 15 was lighter than the 10 it totally 100% was I thought I was going like loco crazy and I went up to two random girls and I was like hi do you guys mind just telling me which one you think is lighter and they're like looking at me like I'm insane and they thought the 15 was lighter too so I bought the 15 I don't know like I don't know if you've ever tried either of them or if you've ever noticed this problem, let me know because I think that's so weird because now I'm like, if I want to buy the foundation, do I buy the 10 or the 15? Like, I don't know. Anyways, awesome, awesome um, concealer. Like, by far my new favorite found it, like concealer. I like it more than this stuff. This stuff looks pink now when it compared to this. This stuff covers everything way better this doesn't. I still love this. I still use this occasionally, but like, this sucks now compared to this. I will like be repurchasing this for probably ever. It is um, not thick. It's super light and um, awesome texture. It has a little dove applicator and it's awesome. It's awesome. Love it. And last but not least, actually this is probably my favorite of this month. This will probably be my favorite for, like, ever. And I feel bad talking about it because you guys can't get it. If you can get it, buy, like, 12 of them. I should have bought two. It's the Marilyn Monroe Beauty Powder in Forever Marilyn. Now, 
I'm going to do a separate video on the Maryland collection in general because I bought one of basically everything and I love basically everything. Actually, I love everything I got except for one. I don't hate it, just not loving it. But I love this stuff and I honestly don't think the camera's going to do this justice. But it is a super like light peachy pink color. And I just watched, yeah, you're not going to be able to tell. It's just the prettiest, prettiest highlight. I probably could pack this on and wear this blush, but I don't. What I do is I take my kabuki brush and I go middle and cheekbones. And it gives the nicest glow without being like chunky, shimmery. Like there's no like glitter. Like, ugh. I am a mad girl, 100%. There's no, like, chunky glitters in this stuff. It's just pure gorgeousness. And I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, probably by far the best thing in this collection. I'm not saying a lot, because I love the collection. But it is pure awesomeness. If you can find this, grab it. Grab two, grab three, send me one. I don't know. Just grab one for yourself for sure. And I'm going to try to find a dupe for it because you guys can't get it. So it kind of sucks and I am already terrified for the day this stuff runs out. Which says a lot because it won't be for like five years because this thing is like humongous. Like it's bigger than a blush. Like it is huge compared. Anyways. Yes, that is my September, no, that is my October favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry it has been so long. I was so MIA. Life happens, um, but I'm back. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great October. And I'll see you in November. Bye.